What is positive psychology? It is simply a science that measures and is concerned about life worth living. Often, you will hear people call it science of happiness or science of positive psychology. Many of us didn't even know the science of happiness exists, did you? Regardless, if you are just trying to understand what positive psychology is all about or you want to get some more detailed information about it, I will address it in the next three lectures. Science of Positive Psychology as defined by Martin Seligman and Mikhail Czech Mikhail, is the study of positive emotions, positive character, and positive institutions. This idea here is not to replace traditional psychology and what we learn about human sufferings and disorders, but rather to supplement traditional psychology. It is really very important to understand this fact. Another thing that I get often in seminars, workshops, and sometimes in simple discussion with my friends is that many confuse positive psychology with positive thinking, or what we sometimes call um, law of attraction. The major difference is that this is a science, which means it is rigorously measured and then, and only then, applied. Although some folks say that you know, many things people did before are simply now proven and validated. And all we do is measure and prove with the scientifically research that certain, you know, what we call in psychology positive interventions bring us happiness. And honestly, in some cases, this may be true. But wouldn't most of us want science to support and prove what happiness is all about? For example, as a former globally certified trainer and business coach for Dale Carnegie Organization, I used to teach people to smile, as a smile is one of the Dale Carnegie principles. I'm glad that today there is so much research behind smile and why is that good for us. That just makes much more sense for many people to actually do it, even if they see it as a selfish exercise. With traditional psychology, we were focusing on repairing damage. And with positive psychology, we focused to also build on good things, to build on positive qualities of people and organizations. What is really interesting is that positive psychology focuses on past, which is experiences, future, which is hope and optimism, and present which is flow. We will discuss this later on in more details. Traditional psychology is concerned about helping people get from, you know, not so great life, from depression, etc., into okay life. So if you look at the scale, they would be moving people from, you know, minus 5 or minus 10 towards 0. Positive psychology is concerned about what is right with you, rather than what's wrong with you. I want to make it clear again that positive psychology is not here to replace traditional psychology, but rather to be in addition to. There is a certainly place for traditional psychology, you know, trying to fix what's wrong, and for some of us that is absolutely necessary. However, focusing on what is right with people is what positive psychology is all about. So, on the scale, you know, moving people from zero to plus five and toward plus ten is what we will be addressing in this course and what science of happiness is all about.